That's somebody's child right there. That's somebody's nephew right there. That's somebody's father right there. What's good, everyone? We out here shooting. You might get shot. Square roots in the building. Exert beats. Jerome Duffy. August 21st. Be on the lookout. You do the math. Hey, so me feels like I'm about to beam up the shining and focus lights on me. Long beard with a head wrap. Has people ready to fight with me? Yet I'm bearing this. You should stay in square instead of acting tough. Get caught up in some stuff to end up locked up in some cuffs or stuffed in a pine box or put in an urn. That's a hard lesson to learn. Playing with firearms will get you burned. Stop, stop, stop. Could you, could you, could you, could you, Mike? Stop. And there you have it. Out now, we are Square Roots. You do the math with the le leading single, You Might Get Shot. Check it out from them. That is courtesy of Skrilltown MO Music. Uh, but tonight, welcome to Skrilltown. It's your boy, Mr. Fetty, a.k.a. Fetty Skrills, a.k.a. Mr. Skrilltown himself. And tonight, we have the lovely guest. She is the media mogul and CEO, Tammy McCautry. Hi, hey, how are you, Skrills? <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to read a little bit more or what, but um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so honored to be on your show, Skrills. All, all day long. I, I'll be, I, you know, I'm so excited about this interview when it comes to people in media, entertainment, and uh, music. You know, I just cling to it. And, you know, off air, I was talking to Tammy and, you know, she's done a lot of things and you'll you'll find out more during this interview. But uh, just to give a little bit about Miss Tammy, uh, we have so Miss Tammy McCautry loves her community and uses gifts that she was blessed with to empower and, and encourage others. She is known as the media mogul and is the founder and CEO of Tammy Media Group a media and event management production, public relations, and consultant company. TMG works with clients who trust them to share strategies on how to promote their businesses and produce successful television marketing projects and events. Tammy Media Group also operates and manages New Orangeburg County Conference Center in Orangeburg, South Carolina. So Tammy's uh, television roots began in 98. When she was found, when she founded her first production company, McCautry Productions, MPI. MPI quickly gained recognition based on its proven record of quality and integrity of service. McCautry Productions Incorporated produced its first talk show, The Single Parent Corner, hosted by Tammy, which aired on UPN and NBC networks. Within three years, Tammy became the executive producer and host of the award winning Tammy Show which aired on Comcast and Fox Networks for over 15 years. Uh, and then we have uh, Tammy founded the Parents Corner USA organization dedicated to helping parents and their children restructure the family unit by giving them the tools needed to encourage the development of the moral fiber, character, family values, which is targeted economically, challenged parents and at-risk youth, PS. PC USA also established a yearly initiative, the National Women and Girls Summit, uh, with a focus on girls ages 10 to 18 and women 18 to 92. The goal of living a happy and healthy lifestyle. And then uh, lastly, uh, Tammy is the author of Nuggets of Love for Our Daughters from a Mother's Heart. The book is a warm, engaging series of letters from a mother to her teenage daughter with a healthy dose of timely advice. Tammy is a dynamic, and enthusiastic, motivational speaker and has delivered hundreds of seminars, commencements, keynote speeches for colleges, nonprofit organizations, churches, and corporations. She has shared the podium with the late Coretta Scott King. Wow. As well as Judge Maybelline Ephraim, the former judge of the National Syndicated Show Divorce Court. Uh, so, yeah. Wow. Like, <laughs> wow. 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 Oh, my Thank God. You. Thank like, you. That was only a fraction of her bio. Uh, so, yeah, we'd like to welcome the lovely Tammy McCotry. 
<laughs> well, thank you. Thank you again, Squirrels. I'm, I'm honored to be on this show. Um, it's always great when I'm asked by a fellow colleague that's in music and production um, mm -hmm. that knows the business and appreciates what we do because people don't understand how challenging it can be, and especially for African Americans. But you know, Absolutely. now you're seeing all of us on television and news, Joy Reid, you know, everybody yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, and so, um, so I'm just honored to be in that number. And, and again, I thank you for all that you are doing. Absolutely. Thank you. And, uh, you know, I admire people that do the things that's going to make, you know, our country great, uh, especially of color. Um, so just getting into things uh, before we get into your video, tell us a little bit about how you got started. Well, um, <laughs> that's a long story, but I'm going to cut it real short. <laughs> yeah. I, I um, I'm a microbiologist by trade, uh, mm. and so I, I really wasn't television. Really wasn't my thing. I had a girlfriend who's now deceased, Yvette George, and I always say it's because of Yvette that I'm on television. Mm. Um, dear friend, classmate, called me into Memphis, said, "Hey, I want you to be a producer." I didn't know what a producer was uh, right. at the time. Now. Believe it or not, I've always been in the arts. I play the piano, the organ, sing, model, dance, you know, all of those good things that, mm -hmm. that you do when you're creative. Uh, right, she asked right. me to come on and I said, no, I'm not living in Memphis, Tennessee. Forget it. <laughs> <laughs> and forget it. But she was behind the camera and she was in her control room and I was mm. sitting on the couch. I was just sitting there and she said, Makachi, girl, you need to be on television. And I said, no, no, no. And my father had just passed away. Um, mm. And I promised him that I would make a difference in the lives of others through mm. through knowledge and wisdom. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, mm. Finally came home. Daughter came in the room three years old. She said, Mama, I love you. And we used to go to this park where I met a lady who had mm. six children and she was 21 years old. Wow. And I started thinking about it. And all of a sudden, it's like, I'm telling you, it's like the spirit, I'm a Christian. And it's like mm -hmm. the spirit of the Lord said, you know, you need to share about what's happening with single parents. And, right. um, and <laughs> forgive, flesh, me. Flesh, uh -huh. forgive me, but um, you need to share what's happening with single parents. And so that's how the first show came about. My daughter just came in the room and said, I love you, mama. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And, um, and so I started looking up back then in 98, that was 90, 90, 98. I started looking mm -hmm. at things on television, started reading. You know, we didn't have the internet like what we have now. Um, right. We had the internet, but it was Bell, Bell, you dial, dial in, those kind of things. Yeah, D I DSL, went, yep. Exactly. <laughs> I went to the, went to the library, all those things. And so met a gentleman um, I, who I call Uncle Jack, who's responsible for that, and Sam Dennis, late Sam Dennis, who um, mm -hmm. said, hey, I can help you. And put a demo together from there. That was it. Um, went on NBC and did all those wow. things and, and um, shopped the show. And you know yeah. how it is when you yeah. have your own production, you're shopping the show. And so mm -hmm. that's what happened. And then Comcast started their new thing and they mm. wanted wanted a television show. So, of course, they asked me. Uh, we sent in our reel. We sent in everything and canned mm -hmm. it, gave it to them. And I was called in the office by the general manager and the executive producer at the time the, the of the show, the creator of mm -hmm. um, Comcast television. And he said, hey, want to put you on? There's three things. You don't have to shop your show anymore. You don't have mm. to pay for advertising. And three, we're going to pay you. Wow. Hey, that's so, the American dream so to that me. Was it. That was it. That was it. <laughs> not not dream. expected. Now, what I'm telling you, know, like I'm telling right. you, Skrills, this was nothing that that I intended to, to happen. So right. I would say God, God just led me into that. Um, and all the things that I have done led me to this point. Yeah. So, so long story made uh, short, that's it. <laughs> that sounds like a, I mean, if you, for something like that, that's what every artist, regardless of music or entertainment, that's, that's what they want to be put into exactly. with their exactly. first venue. Like I, I shop me around, I get a deal, I get some funding and I get on, you know, get that exposure. That's like right. the three keys to success. But yeah, well, let's just tap you. into a little bit of uh, Tammy Media. Mm -hmm. So Tammy Media. What advice would you give to 
young women now as you see our communities and how young women are and and the uh, and the things that they want to do the dreams that they want to live what advice would you give them you know I, I this will sound a bit like a cliche but it is really true your education is the most important thing um it really is important to do as well as you can that is your job when you are a young person more to me than 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 what meets the eye and there's always so much more um you don't have to settle for where you are you can push the limit and you can dream as big as you want to dream so i want to leave that legacy of love and i want to leave the legacy of um that i wasn't afraid to dream big wow. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, Tammy. I, I, I meant to tell you, don't tap right, right into it. That, but, <laughs> that, that's um, all right. That's all right. That's all right. I love those two women. Yeah, but going into Tammy Media, like, tell us a little bit about, you know, not only your show, but just the network as a whole and, you know, your dream and so forth. Right. Right. Well, um, that first of all, those two ladies are fabulous. Um, the first lady was the great grandmother. Uh, I mean, great granddaughter of Madam C.J. Walker. Wow. We just did, yeah, we just did not put that in her in her line because she has she's done a lot on her own. The second one, of course, was BET mm -hmm. Sunday Best um, finalist. Uh, yeah. Talking about Tammy Media Group, um, Skrills, we are just um, just a group of loving people who help others in the business. Um, we've been able to do um, productions, documentaries, working with a group now on a documentary, which is talking about the, um, the, the conception and the beginning of the Black Baptist Church, mm. uh, working with them on that video, on that documentary, and just helping people. So when clients come to me, uh, even athletes come to mm -hmm. me and they say, hey, listen, we want to learn how to talk to people. We want to learn how it is that we need to present ourselves. And they, I'm there to help that professional development. Uh, mm -hmm. with uh, clients, you know, they want to get in the media. Everybody wants to be on television. Everybody can't do what you and I do, but right, I can right. at least help you get to that point. And mm -hmm. I can give you pointers and, and kind of help you. I've done some marketing strategies for folks, you know, and crisis com communications for folks. And, mm -hmm. and so we just continue to work with our clients. And now one of the biggest things is we have, we're getting ready to talk about our network. Uh, we have a network on Roku. I'm looking mm. for content. And so, um, yeah. So anybody that's interested. <laughs> you hear yeah. the wheels that you yeah. can see them, they yeah. turn it right yeah. now. Okay. I'm telling you, Squirrel. <laughs> so, you know, so we haven't made the big, big announcement, but I do mm -hmm. want to say that I am looking for content. And so mm. anybody that's interested, please hit me up. I have a group of students who are phenomenal that are part wow. of the production team. And they are Tiana. I've got to shout them out. Tiana. Felicia and Lee and Willie. And when I tell you these young people really step in and take, take, take the show, take mm -hmm. Tammy Media Group to a whole nother level, they're interns. That's what mm -hmm. we're about, especially here in the city. We're yeah. about, about educating and helping young people who want to get into the business. So when they go on to the big NBC, CNNs, B mm -hmm. BBCs, and all of the big networks that they'll remember, hey, I started out with, uh, with this country lady, you know, this, this, Tammy Media, Bella Geechee mm -hmm. woman from, from, from <laughs> Charleston, South Carolina. And so in a nutshell, that's what we do. It's all about helping people and getting mm -hmm. them recognized, you know, so that they know how to carry on in this business. So with, the, and, and with that being said, so born and raised in Charlotte, I mean, in uh, South Carolina, mm -hmm. how hard has it been coming from the South to break into this industry uh, as a whole? Well, I'm going to say because I started so early, mm -hmm. um, it was because I, I funded my own show, The Single Parent Corner. I yeah. funded my show. At one time, I was paying three to $6,000 a month on different oh networks. My gosh. Wow. And people don't realize when you're paying that kind of money, mm -hmm. um, you have to know sales. You have to know how to advertise. Yep. You have to really go and talk to people. I was doing the whole nine. I didn't have a big crew. I had a television, I mean, a, a television crew. I had a studio crew, but getting mm -hmm. out selling the show, 
It was all me. And so, yeah, challenging, challenging to get out there and really do that. And that's why I say I thank Charlie Thompson at Comcast for giving me the opportunity. And and the third thing he said, fourth thing I forgot was he said, we're going to name the show Tammy. And that was the clear. Wow. That, that was it. Um, and my cousin yeah. who's a, who's in, in legal in Atlanta, she said, listen, cuz, she said, you got to do this. We're going to look at the contract and let's figure out how we're going to make this work. And sure enough, that's how it worked. And I was on Comcast for over for 11, 11, almost 12 years. Wow. Yeah. Well, yeah. see, and, and you know, I'm looking at the bio. Let me go back to it. And it says that, you know, you specialize in management, production, public relations, and consultant. So for those that are listening, uh, how, can you tell them how important it is to have those type of traits and, and skills? I mean, consulting, um, public relations i'm pretty sure marketing somewhere in there mm -hmm. as well um how important is that for an individual getting in to entertainment um to have or at least have some type of foundation for that around them right well you know one of the things is as i told you i i'm not i wasn't in the school of communications I was uh, in the school of biology, microbiology to be exact. So I was always in the sciences. However, right. I had everybody in, in the fine arts building uh, and my friends in communications up on the hill and everything. But one mm -hmm. of the things that I think is important is for people to be able to communicate, be able to articulate what they want um, folks mm -hmm. to know. Because if you're not able to tell somebody what it is that you want or mm -hmm. something that you want to do, an idea that you have, you're not going to be able to get that done. First of all, you've got to believe in yourself. That's one. But you've got to use those skills of being able to talk, being able to know when to listen, and being able to, you know, just, just be yourself right. without being arrogant or anything. Just just be yourself. People are going to help you. And mm -hmm. go to the right people. Get yourself a mentor who's in the business. You know, mm -hmm. get yes. yourself a mentor and and talk with that person. I mean, my big brother, David Mack, the third, who is also a former South Carolina representative. We mm -hmm. did radio together. You know, I did mm -hmm. radio. Yeah. And so it was really important that I stuck with David while he was doing because I didn't know anything. He put me in the studio by myself one day because he had to go to the to, to the Capitol. And I was like, mm hmm. <laughs> and, and Skrills, you know, the deal. So mm -hmm. I'm in the studio. And I'm like, okay, David can talk. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Nobody in front of me, but I'm to talk about what's happening today. And mm -hmm. so you have got to be able, going back to your question, you've got to be able to think off the top of your head uh, mm -hmm. and, and get advice from folks. That's one of the things that I'm going to tell people. Make sure that you get a mentor and get yeah. advice from people. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, so with that, yeah, with the experience there, uh, having a mentor is very important. Um, also, like having a how important is it to strategize and plan before you execute on any of the things that you've done, you know, in the past? Wow. When I tell you planning is the key, you and I talked off air um, mm -hmm. and, you know, and I was talking about the single parent corner. Uh, it was all about going to the library. I know folks don't go, you know, now nah, they right, don't go not because you got the internet. But mm -hmm. going to the library, just like this library here, this new library, Orangeburg Library, I mean, it's fabulous. Um, wow. Going to the library was important to me. Uh, sitting down, writing the goals. Uh, you know, each year I put myself in a position where I have a word. And my mm -hmm. dear friend, um, Cynthia, and my sister, Alicia, we talk mm -hmm. about words that mean something to us for that year. Mm. My word this year is in being intentional. And that was given to me as I was praying. So yeah. one of the things that I do, Squirrels, you ask, I sit down, think about what it is that I want to do for the year or just even for a month. You know, people, sometimes you don't have to grab it all at one time. Right. You just take your time and you can start with today. I'm going to do X, Y, Z. I got three mm -hmm. things that I'm going to do today, but I'm a person that's always been organized and people tease me. And that could be that science brain. I write mm -hmm. down one, two, three, four, five. What is it that I want to do? What, mm -hmm. How am I going to get there? Who do I need to talk to? And what are the things that I need in my resource bag that are mm -hmm. going to help me to get to that point? Yeah, that's it, man. Wow. So I preach this all the time online because 
I run into artists, labels that they just want to spend money. Exactly. They don't think about it. They just, I, they feel like I got the money in front of me. You know, it's like it's burning their hands, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, uh, so I'm telling them, look, back up a little bit. Yeah. Put that money down. And yeah. before burn your hands, back up a little bit. Plan. You know what I'm saying? Right. Strategize. Execute. Yeah. It, mm-hmm. You know, with the things that you've done, you know, I'm just looking in here. Um, you know, UPN, NBC, writing a book. Um, you know, how important is it? to you know not only build a foundation so you can kind of get better as you grow but to have people around you that support and and push you you know and encourage you that is key that's paramount because if you don't have somebody that you can go to and you can say hey listen i need some advice i need to talk um Mm -hmm. i need your help how can you support me in doing this or who do you know that can support me in helping me get to that next level? Mm-hmm. You know, and when you talked about what were some of those challenges, one of the things as we know in our business is the challenge of having money. You just talked about it, you know, getting the resources and the finances that you need to do things. Mm-hmm. Well, of course, now you've got to be creative. So what that means is in order for me to buy all the equipment that I have in the studio, I had to think about it. Okay. I can't spend this. I've got to, save this because yep. now I'm looking at buying this and I need that. I need mm-hmm. a 70 inch television. I need a, I, um, you know, TriCaster. I need all of my mm-hmm. stuff, my cameras, everything that I need. So I've got to think about that. And then how do I do all of that? As you said, is you've got to really just talk to people. And when I'm down, um, you know, as I told you, I'm a Christian, I meditate right. and I pray. I pray, um, you know, and I ask God to kind of, I ask God, not kind of, but I ask God to show me what it is that he would have me do for today and how I can be a blessing to somebody today. It's not my will, God, it's yours. And if I continue to keep that and that's what I have done and I've Mm -hmm. grown and that has helped me, Uh, you know, as you said, young people, especially now, they get Mm -hmm. money, boom, it's gone. Yeah. Yeah. You know, rainy day. I'm t- I'm talking to people now because I said, listen, I said, we don't know what's going to happen in the future. So, mm-hmm. you know, have some cash on hand. Now, yeah. folks say they don't believe on that because it's going to be digital. I said, but wait a minute. If it's digital, d- the digitizing and I'm just making a joke, the digitizing <laughs> will go down. Right. 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 So, right. But the computers are going to go down. <clears throat> but then they said, well, cash is not going to be of any value. So I said, well, then get some gold. Yeah, something. You got to have some type of investment or something. Get some gold and maybe have have um, have your your friend next to you, Uncle Bill, sitting with you or somebody. So if somebody try to break in the house, you know, you'll be all right. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Yeah, I do know how to shoot. But yeah, got got some burying gold. You're going to have viewers burying gold in their backyard. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but let's let's be real i mean yeah. we're coming to that yeah. you know everything that's happening now we're coming to that if the banks close if 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 you on cash app mm-hmm. and you're trying to get money banks have broken down what's gonna happen uh, you can't get your money out the bank shut down it's like when you know they, i remember when they said atlanta got like they first snowstorm in like 20 years the yep, whole was, city shut down but that's, well, that's right. how it's gonna be if something like that, that happens the with the banks world. or the internet the internet, the internet any of that right. stuff like yeah it's just that's so right. you gotta have a backup plan that's Absolutely right so yes yeah, and so getting back to what you're saying is you know my mm-hmm. my sister alicia um I, you know i i thank god for her because i can call her and say hey sis i i, I need i need to just talk Right. And, you know, she's there. I'm there for her. You know, my sister Sylvia called her. My daughter, Catherine, you know, she called. Mm-hmm. She just called me a little bit ago before the show. You know, we were talking <laughs> and she says, Mama, I got to tell you so and so. This is what I need. And so you just be there for folks. Yeah. You know, love on people. And I tell right. people all the time, I love people. Uh, mm-hmm. Sometimes you get hurt. And in our business, you know, Squirrels, we got to be so careful. You we do. have to be careful who we surround ourselves with. Absolutely. And you, you've got to have that discernment to know mm-hmm. when folks are for you and when they're against you. Uh, yep. And for the longest, especially um, when I was doing television in Charleston, of course, everybody else was an anchor. But I was mm-hmm. a person that had my own show. 
you know, right. executive producer of the show, um, and, and you know, behind the scenes, the whole nine, host of the show. And so mm-hmm. I had to be careful about people that would call me or would want this and want that. And I give, I say, you know what? Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. They, they don't mean me any good right now. Right, and, right. And, and my my aunt Cindy, my my daddy's um, aunt, who's ninety nine years old. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> You wouldn't tell it. She looks like she is 70 years old. Call, <laughs> I call her in a minute, Cynthia McCartney Smith, and I call her and I say, Aunt Cindy. And then she'll say, what is it, baby? And so those are the types of people when you ask about those resources. And right. everybody doesn't have that. And right. so what I want to encourage people is if you don't have that, reach out. I mean, Squirrels, you're on LinkedIn. I'm on LinkedIn. Yeah. Reach mm-hmm. out to people and be honest, you know, right. because we can't tell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know, especially if they only helping you to get something out of, exactly. you know, or exactly. they only come around when they think that you got something for them. Exactly. Uh, so that goes into one of the questions that I was going to ask. You know, a lot of people don't understand that they see the money and they think, wow, if they gave me something, I would be better off. Please explain to these viewers how important and how valuable advice or education or you know like you said just being a mentor to somebody is to some to an individual that just don't have it yet right you know it it's so important for us to be um to be those champions for folks that need a champion um i was adopted from birth by the way so um you know having the type of parents that i had who were grassroots community people it was mm-hmm. great to be around them but one of the things that I want to say to people that don't have it is to reach out, reach out. There are people who want to help you. Look at Skrills. He helps yeah. young people all the time. You mm-hmm. know, like I said, I have a, 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 a young of a group of young people who are doing it. And I love talking with them. And as I always tell them, hey, I'm always here. If you need anything, you know, let me know. Uh, and mm-hmm. I can be there for you. So it's important that you take the initiative if it's something that you want to do, mm-hmm. excuse me, you take that initiative and you reach out to the person that you want to be around. And a lot, you'll be surprised if you yeah. send an email. I've gotten emails from folks that I didn't know. And I just said, hey, yeah, so-and-so, so-and-so, you know, um, mm-hmm. and give that advice. Mm-hmm. And, and if they call back, then yes, I'm willing to talk with you. But you've got to be careful in who you bring into your circle. Because folks, like we just said earlier, folks mm-hmm. that come in your circle don't mean, some people don't mean you any good. They nope. really, really don't. They uh, don't. And so you have to have that discernment. But I'm gonna tell folks, reach out, get that advice. Look for mm-hmm. folks that are in your area, whatever it is, business, uh, music, productions, television, I mean, mm-hmm. videography, whatever it is, find yeah. out. Absolutely. That's some great advice. So last question I got for you yes. is um, how important is educating yourself along the way as you grow? Oh, wow. Man, you said a mouthful, Squirrels. I mean, important is <laughs> education. Educate yourself. I don't care. And I used to tell young people when I'm talking to them, I said, you may not get because I speak different languages. You may not get to Spain, but you certainly can go on the Internet. And find out about Spain, because one day you're going to be there. You may not get to Africa, but one day you're going to get there. And so educate yourself about the things that you are interested in and how you can better yourself, because you're never too old to learn. I'm still learning. Skrills, listen, we're still learning. Mm -hmm. We're still learning. And so get on that Internet. Get a book. Mm -hmm. Read books. I just bought three books that I'm going to read from authors that I interviewed almost 20 years ago. Wow. And when she saw me, she's a best-selling author, Mary Alice Monroe. Mm -hmm. She saw me. She was like, Tammy. You know, we were like, (laughs) like, but you know, I, uh, she gave me her book and, and the other lady, one of them was a tech director for me. Now she's got this big book, best-selling author. I'm telling you things, you know, just educate yourself. Yeah. You know, learn your skill, learn Mm -hmm. your skill. It's so important. Skrill. Absolutely. Words of wisdom. Um, I'm telling you, everything that Miss Tammy is saying is the truth. And this is coming from somebody that has succeeded. And basically, when it comes to what I've read, 
she succeeded in all of this. And this that's that's a lot to say because a lot of people, I mean, you know, they they go through things and some things don't work out and you try yeah. other things, but I mean you got TV, you got, you know, uh books, you know, organizations, all that stuff. That's success. Yeah, you well, know, and it, you. yeah, that's success. So um where can the viewers find you at on social media? if they want some advice or if they want, you know, to have you on the show or anything like that, where can they find you? Well, you can go to my website. That's um, TammyMcCautry.com. You can go to LinkedIn, Tammy McCautry, Facebook, the, the Tammy show. I mean, it's, it's Twitter, Tammy McCautry, um, mm-hmm. Instagram, Tammy McCautry. So you can, you can <laughs> yeah. find, just go to TammyMcCautry.com and you can learn a lot. But I do want to say one thing, Skrill, as we were talking, I don't want people to think that it's it was easy. Right. It, all of this was not easy. And it's still not easy. I mean, you still go through some of those things where you're trying to get people to work for you, you know, mm-hmm. be in productions with you and those type of things. So don't think it was an easy road, folks, even though you read that bio. Yeah, that's a bio. Mm-hmm. I've done it. But just just know that there is a god who will take you through there you go if you ain't heard it from anybody else you heard it from miss tammy and i respect that and uh Thank you. you know any last words for anybody out there if you want to speak to you know this audience what would you say well, the one thing that I would say is believe in yourself. Um, you know, Skrill in, in, in my bio, I always tell people believe in yourself because if you don't believe in you, who else is going to believe in you? You know, mm-hmm. remember that there's somebody who's always better than you, who's always wiser than you. Reach out to them. Learn, learn from learn from our ancestors as well. Mm-hmm. You know, learn from my ancestors. And finally, pray if you can't do anything else. Get on your knees and pray. What's that song? Say, get on your knees and pray. So uh-huh. get on your knees and get on your <laughs> knees and pray. But Squirrel, I want to thank you for the opportunity. This was a great interview. I enjoyed talking Absolutely. with you. And I am so honored. And my brother, you continue to do what you're doing. You, you, you a bad brother. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, thank you. You know. <laughs> I appreciate that coming from you. Oh, hey, that wow. means a lot. Like well, thank really, you. that really means thank a lot. You. And thank I thank you. you too for having, you know, for giving us this opportunity to interview you you have no idea uh ladies and gentlemen like she really has you know the tools um and she has the experience and these are the people that you really want to talk to and get advice from so thank you again for allowing us to this opportunity on your show i mean on the show thank you appreciate you so as you heard go to tammy what's the website again tammy mccotry.com that's t-a-m-m-y-m-c-c-o-t-t-r-y.com there you go. You have it. Thanks again, Miss Tammy. Uh, thank you, everybody who tuned in. Uh, who, who we got before I leave? Give a shout out to Altino Brown. Uh, I think he's on LinkedIn with us. Um, yes. Thanks for tuning in. There was a couple other people I can't see, uh, but we really appreciate it. Tomorrow night, we will have a super producer, a songwriter. His name is St. James. Uh, he has a lot of good soulful music. Uh, so tune in at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, and like I say, we want to thank you again, Miss Tammy. Thank you. And until next time, everybody else, we are out. Bye. <laughs> Friends, I'm on the text friend. Soon as I become your ex, he'll become the sex friend. Won't don't make yourself look less than playing these silly games. Instead of speaking the truth, you repeating lies to my face. Like I know that you've been saying he's your best friend. I know that you've been saying he's your best friend. Best friend. I know that you've been saying he's your best friend. Best friend. I know that you've been saying he's your best friend. Best friend. I know that you've been saying he's your best friend. Best friend. I know that you've been saying he's your best friend. Best friend. I know that you've been saying he's your best friend. Best friend. Uh-huh. Best friend. I know that you've been saying he's your best friend. I know that you've been saying he's your best friend. But do you remember when you said?